What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and for today's video we're going to put to the test self-sharpening chainsaw. Many of you already know who have used a chainsaw before, using dull chainsaw is not just horrible and tiring, it's actually dangerous. You want your chainsaw to be very sharp and once your chainsaw is dull you already know you're gonna be sitting there cutting firewood very long time compared to the sharp fresh chain. Let's see what it's all about. It comes with oil, a little bit oil. I have a lot of chainsaw oil, but that's good that it comes with it. Just probably will take the whole bottle easily. Probably only halfway anyways, but we'll run this oil first. Yeah, all you have to do is just use any bar oil. It doesn't have to be Oregon oil, any kind of oil. Let's see if the blade is different at all. Looks like it's 16 inches. It tells you right here how big is the chainsaw. This is the original chainsaw tooths. As you can see, you have to sharpen it from the inside and some the top as well. This chainsaw is very different. As you can see, the sharp part mostly from the top right here, not from the inside. So, as you can see, much, much different setup, but this is what it makes self-sharpening possible. This is how you're going to self-sharpen it right here. Just pressing it up, I guess, while you're running it. So far, looks really good, pretty light. Let's see how well it's going to chop. Right here, the guard. Whoa. This is fast. doesn't stop instantly, I guess the chain stops instantly, but the motor doesn't. A little bit different. Not bad. This is black locust, as you can see, pretty thick. Cutting it really, really fast. No complaints. Let's do one more. So next thing what I'm gonna do is doll it out on a rock on the asphalt. Do not try this at home. I guarantee you, this thing is dull, most likely. Okay, let's see how bad it is going to cut now. Safety. So this is what I'm talking about. It's barely cutting now because it's so dull. This is why you do not want to hit a rock or dirt on the ground. You're going to dull out your chainsaw really, really fast. So now let's try to self-sharpen it. It's perfect that it's getting darker. We might see a lot of spark this way or a lot more than during the day. Don't forget to turn the safety on. Put it on a log or something or a stump. Feel really comfortable so that way you're not going to drop it or fall off. And let's try to run it and pull this up. Do you see all the sparks? I'm pretty sure now it is very, very sharp. This is actually really cool. The way this chainsaw is set up, that's how it's going to sharpen it. Regular chainsaws, blades will not work like that. This chainsaw, blade is completely different compared to the steel one. Okay, now the question is, let's see if it actually sharpened it at all. Woo. 
As you can see, it's definitely sharpened. Let's try this again. Very nice. Look how well it's cutting. I love it. The only problem is I wish it was on the battery, not on the cord. But it's okay. Around here I can use my corded one. And I can always bring in my Devolt power station and still use the corded tools like this for a very long time. Anywhere I want. Okay, let's just finish this log up. By the way, you see it won't turn on unless you have safety on. So that way if you fall... Uh, and it will going to stop automatically. You see it? So that way you don't fall on the chainsaw. Or if you get a kickback, that way it will stop. Anyways, it's pretty cool. For those people who doesn't know, but I'm sure most of you already know that. Very nice. I love it. Okay, let's break it apart and see how this thing works. Okay, this is how you tighten the chain up and loosen it up. Very nice. And this is how you release it. I think we can take it off. Wow. Really nice. I like it. Okay, let's figure it out what it makes it sharpening. Okay, this is the bar. This side here is the sharpening stone. And you press it right here, it's going to touch the chain. And while we're running it, it's going to sharpen it up. Super easy. Okay, I'll put it back together. By the way, make sure the chainsaw unplugged. Super obvious, right? You see where the chain is? As soon as I press it, it's going to touch the blade and sharpen it up. But anyways. Okay, then you can put it you can put the lid back on and screw it back on and adjust the blade right here. You see how it's too loose, so you can make it much tighter, but not too tight. Something like that. That's good. And then tight all the way. There you go. I'm happy with that. Very interesting design, definitely a huge thumbs up for me. Next I'm gonna do a little competition. Original chain, Devolt chainsaw, very powerful, I love it. And uh, Oregon, new self-sharpening chains. Let's see if this new chain actually makes it a big difference. Is it faster or much slower? Let's find out. Okay, let's see what happens. Stay down shot. Now let's see the, how this one does. Pretty much same speed, isn't it? I don't see much big of a difference. Okay, I'm gonna try to do as fast as possible. Very nice. Now let's see how fast this one goes. And this one stayed up shot. What do you guys think? Pretty much same speed. Honestly, did not notice much difference at all. They both are really, really fast. I love electric chainsaws. I can hear coyotes over there. This is my dog Halloween, and they hollering to the coyotes. Pretty crazy. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below what do you think about this self-sharpening chainsaw. I wish all the chainsaws were self-sharpening because it takes quite a bit of time to sharpen up a regular standard chain. Anyways, don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.